Christmas is an exciting time of year for sure with the presents and the trees and the lights and Santa Claus. There's lots of excitement in the air for sure. Who doesn't love Christmas? Did you ever wonder why we do what we do during the season though with the trees and the presents and the lights and Santa Claus? And what are our Amish neighbors doing to celebrate? Are they using the same traditions? Do they have the presents and the trees and the lights and Santa Claus? In this video, we're going to find out where those traditions came from and exactly how our Amish neighbors are celebrating this Christmas season. In our community, most of the Amish are either Old Order Amish or a lot of Mennonites live around here. So obviously they have certain traditions that they might practice that are different. And what I'm going to talk about today is specifically Old Order Amish, and I have a clip of a video from Eli Yoder. He actually has a, a YouTube channel, and I strongly encourage you to go visit it because you're getting firsthand knowledge about a lot of the traditions of the Old Order Amish, and, you'll, and, and then you'll find out why he left the Amish community. Um, in today, we're going to give a little snippet of him talking about Christmas. And this is a video that he put out last year. And I have the a link to the entire video at the end of this video. So please go watch the whole thing. It's very informative. And this is just a small clip of it. And they very much do presents. Uh, I, I didn't get one present growing up in the Amish. We were very poor and we didn't, they wasn't against it in our old order Amish community. Matter of fact, we gave things out sometimes, candy and baked goods to outsiders, English folks. Um, there, so they wasn't, he wasn't discouraged to be kind to someone and give somebody presents and give them things, you know, and loving one another. Uh, but I, I did, I did talk to a New Order Amish that they, they very much practice even wrapping them up in presents and everything and giving one another in the family, in the home, some presents. Uh, but when it comes to the tree and Santa Claus, eh eh gone. <laughs> and I agree with that. I agree with that. Where did the tradition of the Christmas tree come from anyway? It's actually a pagan practice. Ages ago, many pagan cultures used to cut boughs of evergreens at this time of year and move them into the home or temple to recognize the winter solstice. Holly was also used to deck the hall in order to ward off evil spirits bad witches, and misfortune. So as the solstice approached, many noticed that the days were getting shorter and they feared that the sun would disappear forever, leaving them to freeze in the dark or starve due to crop failure. Even though deciduous trees, bushes, and crops died or hibernated for the winter, they noted that evergreen trees remained green. To them, evergreens had magical powers that helped them to withstand winter. So tree decorating became symbolic too. The ancient pagan Romans decorated their trees with bits of metal and replicas of their god, Bacchus, a fertility god. They also placed 12 candles on the tree in honor of their sun god. Their midwinter festival, Saturnalia, I hope I said it right, started in mid-December and lasted through the solstice and an evergreen tree helped to celebrate the festival. In Northern Europe, the ancient pagan German people tied fruit and attached candles to evergreen tree branches in honor of their god, Woden. This is the deity after which Wednesday, aka Woden's Day, was named. To them, trees symbolized eternal life and their evergreen quality makes them join holly, mistletoe, the wassail bowl, and the yule log are symbols of the season. All of these predate it Christianity. The world has very much made, well, Satan came to steal, kill, and destroy, and, and change everything God has always uh, set up, biblically. He takes his time, he's patient, and, and I do have to say, uh, the Amish got it right on this, when they eliminate that little fat red guy called Santa Claus. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't agree with that garbage, okay? Um, oh no, here we go with Santa Claus. Uh, Earlier, I mentioned how Santa Claus, for most of us, we think of St. Nicholas, and it's kind of a nice story. But believe it or not, that also goes back, the beginnings of Santa go back to Norse mythology. And where you have Odin and Woden, they were Norse gods. There's lots of different stories surrounding how the relationship is with a Santa Claus. So I won't go into a lot of them. Some of them aren't really stories that I want to tell here on the, this channel, but the point is this tradition of Santa Claus originated from Norse mythology coming out of Scandinavia um, in, in that area of uh, Northern European as well. So Santa has nothing to do with Christianity. As Eli has stated in his video, it, it distracts one from the true purpose of Christmas. Let's move on and see how he celebrated Christmas at his home. 
while he was Amish. And a lot of kids know a whole lot about Santa Claus and, you know, Christmas tree and presents. But they don't know much, much about uh, Jesus Christ, you know. So that, that's a problem. So uh, I think when, the, when it comes to the holidays such as Christmas and Easter, I think the, um, the Amish and Mennonite groups obviously biblically have it better together than I would say anybody else in the world today. Uh, there's a lot I can disagree on from my Amish background, but I can tell you here today that uh, when it comes to Christmas, they obviously uh, celebrate Jesus Christ's birthday. And uh, I remember we had to read out the Bible. So I want to kind of share, I can, like I always say, I can share about my sect, my, my old order church and family. Uh, but that doesn't mean that every Amish or new order or I can't speak for all of them. Sometimes they do it a little different. I just know we had a two-day deal going on. We had uh, Christmas was uh, September or uh, December 25th and also 26th. Uh, that's when we had the meal. Now, on Christmas morning, it was fasting. I saw mom and dad fasting. They wouldn't eat. Now, we went out. We milked our cows. It was just another day. You know, you wake up. You go out there and you milk the cows and do all your chores and feed all your animals. But then you come in, and uh, the kids that are not baptized yet as a church member could have a snack, some cereal, something to drink, but mom and dad wouldn't eat. Mom and dad were fasting, and uh, that is a day where they celebrated what Jesus did. See, they acknowledge Jesus, but they still have a lot of good works and a lot of rules and all of that that they believe that you must do to, in order to please Jesus. They just don't think Jesus was enough to finish it at the cross. That's why they do what they do, the good works, the rules, the law. Uh, but they do acknowledge what he done on the cross. Uh, they do also understand that it isn't proven to be his exact date of his birthday, but they are okay celebrating Jesus the Christ on December 25th. So many of the traditions that we have in our culture, the Amis do not celebrate. I did make a video last year telling, talking about um, many of their traditions that they have, and they do give gifts, a lot of cookies, they'll get together and sing and things like that. But everything as far as the Christmas tree, the gift giving within the home, the lights and, and all the music and the excitement doesn't happen within the old order Amish. Again, I've got that link above. You can go ahead and watch that where I go in a little bit more detail. Now, I we did hear Eli say that they he questioned their faith as far as Jesus Christ, their salvation. And that's a whole nother topic. But I will say this, that as you watch the video, this was for information for you to see how they celebrate it. It came from somebody who was Amish. But just remember each person's heart and the relationship with God is separate. And I didn't make the video to judge as much as to give you information. So um, take it from there. And uh, I hope that you have a very Merry Christmas and a blessed holiday.